doing these four tanks uh, to feed the sea urchins here at the urchin hatchery. The, the limu is food for the urchins uh, in the hatchery when the urchins are between five millimeter and 15 millimeters in size. So at the time that the urchins are about the size of a pencil eraser, they're large enough to start eating seaweed. We release them when they're about the size of a dime. So for that two month period, two or three month period, this seaweed is their primary source of nutrition. We'll break it up a little bit and then we'll put it into the, the urchin tanks. Limu has, has a variety of uses. Uh, for us, our primary purpose for the, for the limu is to feed it to the urchins until they're large enough to go out into the field. But limu has been used as a primary source of food for people in Hawaii and all over the world for many, many years. There's certainly an irony in the fact that we're feeding the urchins with a native limu to get them large enough to go out into the field to eat an invasive seaweed. However, we don't want to grow a non-native or an invasive seaweed to feed our urchins because we're afraid that we might end up accidentally proliferating that invasive seaweed. So we feed them with this native seaweed, give it to them until they're big enough, they go out to the field, and then they eat the invasive seaweeds there. When we set up the urchin hatchery, the target species of invasive seaweed were Capophycus and Ukema, which are found in Kaneohe Bay. Those species are not found on this side of the island. So when we were trying to figure out what it was we should feed the urchins in the hatchery, we decided against trying to grow some of the non-natives. We're here at the Department of Land and Natural Resources, and one of our jobs is to fight against invasive species. Here at the urchin hatchery, we're only growing native species of limu to feed to the urchins. The urchins have always been fed limu since we started working at the urchin hatchery.